get that video out there and it all looks blue. You look at the stuff from Houston, and it's all cloudy in <laughs> Texas and pouring down rain. And it, I just, it's really odd to look at that all, from time to time. If we could just evenly distribute it, you know, yeah, Mother Nature doesn't, she doesn't work that way. <laughs> Here's a live view outside for you. Oh, look at their e-liches. This would be a great day to be there. You do need plenty of sunscreen. If you are going or if you are there now, make sure you're protecting yourself or call your friends and loved ones. Tell them to put that sunscreen on. It is a bright, sunny day out there, and we aren't expecting a lot of cloud cover. Look at this. We're up to 89 degrees out at the airport officially. 88 in Ray, Sydney, Nebraska, knocking on the door to 90. 77 in Bailey, 82 in Rollins, 73 in Gunnison, 74 in Telluride. A little bit more cloud cover over the higher terrain. I'll show you that here in just a minute. The Colorado Rifle Club, they are weather watchers for us out west of Leader, 88. Not too far up the road in the River Valley, northwest of Brush, 81 degrees from Diane Sprague. Big high pressure sitting here over the west. We've had this traffic jam in the upper atmosphere for the last several days, causing Harvey to just stall. It's finally starting to move away, and it will make this trip out toward uh, the east coast. We sit under high pressure here. That is why it's so dry, uh, and it is so quiet for the most part. It's also why we have bad air quality today. An ozone alert continues in effect for Colorado. Now, under the high pressure, a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere combined with daytime heating, that can crop up a few showers and storms. We are starting to see that over the mountains and foothills. Even a couple of lightning strikes here down in the south central mountains. That trend will continue through the afternoon. I can show you that here on Futurecast. We aren't expecting widespread coverage of these storms, but they will be out there. And if you get under one, it could be a brief little downpour. One or two may try and come through Denver later this afternoon or this evening. It would be harmless and would not last too long. Highs today topping out in the low to mid 90s east and west. 70s to low 80s in the high country about 79 in Frisco. Looking ahead, we've got a couple of big things happening this week. The Rocky Mountain Showdown's looking good uh, on Friday, and so is the Broncos game on Thursday night. Although Thursday, we do have a teeny, teeny, tiny chance for a few afternoon storms. Should one pop in the city, it could hamper the very, very start to the game, but that's a very small chance, Alan, so we'll just pretend it's not going to happen. Hope for good news for the Broncos. There's your five-day forecast. We stay in those 80s to lower 90s, and other than that slim chance of storms, it's a continued dry storm stretch for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chris, some useful stuff there at least. Hey, you yeah. can keep track of any of the changes coming with our free CBS4 weather on the go app. Just search for CBS Denver weather in your app store. You'll really like it.